Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Helena helicopter launched NAR with extended range is a third generation fire and forget class anti-tank guided missile system. The system has all weather day and night capability and can defeat main battle tanks with conventional armor as well as explosive reactive armor. The Helena missile can engage targets both in direct hit mode as well as top attack mode. Helena weapon system is being inducted into Indian Army. A variant of Helena weapon system called Dhruvastra is being inducted into Indian Air Force. As per the latest updates, Helena was successfully flight tested on April 11, 2022 at high altitude ranges as a part of user validation trials. The flight test was jointly conducted by a team of scientists from DRDO, Indian Army and Indian Air Force. The flight trials were conducted from an advanced light helicopter Rudra and the missile was fired successfully engaging simulated tank target. In continuation to validation trials conducted at Pokhran in Rajasthan, proof of efficacy at high altitude paves the way for its integration on ALH. Initially, Indian Army will need 500 Helena missiles and 40 launchers. Each missile is going to cost close to Rs 1 crore. The Indian Air Force had also asked for the feasibility of integrating the Helena on light combat helicopter LCH. Once integrated, it would further increase the scale in production of the missile and reduce its per unit cost. Helena also has a very good export potential. Helena is developed for engaging heavily armored tanks in all weather conditions during day and night with a minimum range of 500 meters and maximum range of 7 kilometers. The ATGM uses an imaging infrared IIR seeker that locks onto target before launch. The airframe is made up of composite materials with high resistance to enemy countermeasures. The forward dome houses the guidance system. The middle portion of the body accommodates sensor packages and the warhead. A booster rocket is located towards the rear end. Helena consists of four foldable wings and four tail fins that stabilizes it during the flight. A real-time image processor located next to the guidance package helps enable automatic target detection and tracking capability. The digital autopilot helps in guidance, stability and control after the launch. An electric actuation system also helps in flight control. The guidance system is based on an imaging infrared seeker that ensures a high target accuracy in both top and front attack modes. A CCD camera integrated into the guidance system is useful as it is hard to jam. The initial guidance is provided by the area correlation around the target to which is added a centroid tracking mechanism. Homing in the terminal phase is done by the area correlation around the centroid. Nag, the land version of Helena rises upward suddenly and then bends at a steep angle to aim for the target and thus gained its famous name after the Cobra. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.